All right, it's going to be Karim Cantor. He will be the only player. And Xavier is here with Coach Chris Mack. Certainly a tough game. Uh, feels like it's a game that, um, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, give them credit. They, they hung in there and um, didn't deliver the knockout punch and that uh, was needed. But, you know, also recognize that we're playing a very senior-laden team in, in Providence. So um, it's disappointing because I feel like we, uh, you know, we had the game and, you know, we've been so, so awfully good in close games. But, you know, tonight we just uh, – Left a few plays out there that um, had we made, we'd be sitting here uh, getting ready for the winner of Butler Villanova. So, um, but we didn't. And that's what happens sometimes in game basketball. Right down in front, Pat. Hey Chris, done with the Big East season now completely. Um, you have uh, another tournament to look forward to next week. Uh, what was your message to the guys regarding that after the game? Just that. You know, we'll, uh, it's sort of hard to say that in the moment. You know, guys are sort of uh, reflective of what just transpired. So uh, we'll worry about, you know, wh where we go, who we play, uh, and all that stuff in a couple of days when some of the feelings of what we just dealt with in the locker room are, are sort of gone. Over here on the left, Juan. Coach, you had them down by 14. What changes did they make to be able to make that comeback? Um, well, they, they didn't quit. Not that we expected them to. Um, you know, felt like, uh, you know, they just uh, turned us over a few times. I mean, we didn't have an extraordinary amount of turnovers. I mean, uh, and we only had 10 for the game. But there was a, a, a crucial stretch where, you know, we made a few in a row. And, you know, what is a 17 or 15 point lead to go single digits. You know, the game feels a little funny. Um, thought we missed some shots around the basket, some, some looks. Providence is a really good defensive team, though. And so um, to say that you know, we missed open shots would be a discredit to how, how well they are on the defensive end. Um, you know, having, having said all that, you know, we kept our turnovers low. Uh, we certainly didn't shoot great from the field, but our defense was certainly good enough to win. They, they shoot in the low 40s. Uh, they shoot in the teens from three. But uh, again, just a couple plays, and uh, we'd have different feelings. Back down in front, Pat. Karim, uh, you've waited so long to uh, to be on a stage like this in the Big East tournament. Um, how do you quickly process this loss and kind of get it out of your system? How tough is that? Um, well, this was one of our goals in the beginning of the season when we started our season. Uh, winning this tournament was one of our goals. And it sucks that we're not playing tomorrow, but I'm so glad we got, we got a, lot of, a lot more basketball to play. Second row right here. Uh, Coach, you mentioned the, the sort of the string of turnovers in the second half, but was there anything that you thought that they did particularly well offensively or you didn't do as well as you guys, as you would have liked to have done defensively in order to allow them to erase that deficit? Well, I mean, I thought Kyron hit some really tough contested shots. Um, you know, I felt like, you know, over the last few weeks, Providence has played a little bit differently. Uh, they really posted up mismatches a lot more than, than, than they did earlier in the year. They've always done it, but not to the extent that they're doing now. I thought they just willed some baskets in, uh, just with their toughness. They're a very versatile team. Seems like every guy out there is between 6'6 six, six and 6'8 you know, besides Kyron. And so uh, it's a difficult team to match up against. And, uh, you know, having said that, we, we limited them to six offensive rebounds. I just felt like they, they sort of toughed in some baskets. And uh, we, we haven't gone cold very often this year. And again, I go back to credit in Providence's defense uh, for that. But, you know, again, it's, it's a coin flip in terms of who's winning and who's losing. And uh, we're on the wrong side of the coin, at least from my perspective. In front, Ken. Despite everything that happened, you, you still had that last possession with a, with a chance to make something happen there. Can you just both of you discuss what the plan was there on that the very last possession? Yeah, they did a good job taking away, uh, you know, Trayvon on the rescreen. And so, uh, you know, it's an it's end of the game play that we run. with usually seven seconds, uh, six seconds or more. And, um, you know, when Trey came back off the rescreen, they did a really good job and didn't fall asleep. 
And so that didn't leave us, you know, many options. And so, you know, we only have so many last second plays, you know, drawn up and with no timeouts. So it was certainly difficult to draw anything up that you feel comfortable with. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, again, it's one play of many that uh, didn't go our way. And, and I don't think it was the, the reason that we lost. Back in the middle. Coach, the um, Mercura offensive foul was obviously a big play in the game. You showed some frustration on that call. Can you talk about what you thought happened there? Well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm really biased, but uh, probably the right call. Probably the right call. Um, you know, you got to make a, a decision on a two-on-one or three-on-one a little bit better, and hopefully JP will the next time. But uh, frustration just being in the moment. You know, the officials did a really good job. And so uh, I, I don't have any angst against those guys. Tough call for them to make, but probably the right call. Right here on the left. Coach, did you th feel that your team was settling for shots or kind of taking their foot off the gas, especially when you were up so much in the first half? No. No, I felt like, um, you know, a few of the turnovers um, disrupted us a bit. Uh, when they went zone, um, it hurt us for a little bit. And then we started to get a little bit of a rhythm to it, got a couple baskets. But, uh, you know, when they went zone in the second half, um, you know, it made our offense chunky there for, for two or three possessions. And then, again, 15, 17-point lead dwindled down to single digits. Um, and we did much better over time against the zone, but we needed to sort of be better early on. Um, but I don't think we were settling for shots. Um, not any different than the shots that we take uh, through the other 32 games. We're doing two more, all the way on the right, Richard. I mean, I think you always you always learn, or at least you need to, uh, in, in both a win and a loss. And a lot of times those lessons uh, sink in a little bit clearer, a little bit deeper when you do lose. Uh, you know, my biggest thing is making sure that uh, the guys in the locker room who've won 28 games this year, who've won a regular season uh, Big East championship, uh, fought tooth and nail and could have been in the finals um, on, on, on any number of plays, uh, feel good about themselves uh, coming NCAA tournament time. We'll learn from this and bounce back. And I'm sure on Sunday when they have the seven-hour selection show, we'll feel a lot better. Last question right here. Uh, Coach, speaking of the tur tournament, uh, with the way you guys lost tonight, what's the one thing you would want your team to take with them in the next few days off before the tournament starts? Just that feeling, the finality of it. Um, it's what good competitors do. They remember that feeling, and, and so, uh, you know, we just got to be better the next time out and, uh, you know, survive in advance. Quick, go ahead. You announced your presence in this conference quite well by coming to five semifinals in the first five years. One trip to the final. Is that the, is that the toughest hurdle from semifinal to final? It's been for us. <laughs> um, but, you know, some other programs, have had, there's a tougher hurdle. So, you know, um, I don't know. I told our guys maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You know, three games in three days is really difficult. But um, having said that, we still would have preferred to play in the finals. Um, but I don't know if that's a tougher hurdle. I'm not going to necessarily worry about it. Xavier, thank you. Thank you.